Iran says it has executed a second prisoner who was detained over the ongoing nationwide protests. He was convicted of allegedly fatally stabbing two security force members and wounding others back in mid-November. Abby Kugadasan is on the story with the details we have so far about the person executed and the reason behind it. Abby? Heather, Iranian state TV airing a video showing a man they claim is Majid Reza Ranavar attacking the officers. Now, these tribunals have been criticized by human rights groups because defendants like Majid cannot choose their own lawyers, and they don't even know the evidence that's being used to convict them. These so-called hearings also take place behind closed doors, but the execution was public. Human rights activists say this is a tactic to maximize fear amid nations nationwide protests, Heather. As I mentioned, Abby, this is the second execution now linked to the protests that have been going on for almost three months now following the death of Masa Amini. Are there others detained? Are there others facing execution in the future? Do we know at this point? I mean, right now, we know that just last week, the first known execution linked to these demonstrations was carried out. Mohsen Shakiri was hung on Thursday. The Islamic Republic had charged him vaguely with what's known as waging war against God, which is considered one of the most serious crimes in the country. Now, the Iranian diaspora from Canada to Europe have been raising their voices for those who are being silenced, urging their governments to act. In Brussels this morning, the European Union um, foreign policy chief voicing concern about the two state-sanctioned killings so far. Here's Yosef Burrell. I had a long conversation with the Foreign Affairs Minister of Iran. You can imagine, certainly talk, talk, talk about this execution. I expressed the concern of the European Union, the condemnation and the sanctions that are going to be taken today. Now, protesters have been on the streets across Iran, across all of its 31 provinces, demanding freedom for weeks and weeks. The popular uprising, as you mentioned, was sparked by the death of Masa Amini, the 22-year-old who died in police custody. She was detained by the morality police for wearing her hijab, as they felt improperly. Now, more than 18,000 people have been arrested since, according to Human Rights Activist News Agency, which is a group of Iranian advocates and Amnesty International says that at least a dozen people, Heather, are at risk of being executed in Iran. Abby, thank you very much. Abby Kugadasan in London.